what up YouTube? What are you doing in the car? So what is up guys? Corey Taylor of Slipknot is now deciding to write new lyrics for the new up and coming album that they are going to be releasing apparently in 2019. And you guys might be wondering, why does it take bands, artists, groups, musicians nowadays so long just to create one stinking album? You know why it takes artists so long to create albums anymore? Because people don't really care about music anymore. People don't. People don't want their favorite artists to bring out new music. They just want the hits, the, the, the uh, classics. And it's like, nah, guys. You want to hear new music from your favorite artist. You don't want the same song and dance for like 20 years. It's like Metallica, Slayer, um, Judas Priest. They all play the same thing when they go out on tour. It's the same like 12 or 13 songs that they've been playing for years. And that's all people go there for. They don't go for the new material. They don't go for anything they're still going for wait and bleed they don't want any of the new material from the new bands so it's like what's the point of even doing it like bands used to do i remember when when uh disturbed used to do that they used to do like it was like 2000 2002 2003 then like 2005 2007 they, they did like periodically like every single year they would tour for a year didn't release an album because back in the day, we always knew what artist was going to release an album because they had a frequent cycle. They, they would tour, then record an album, and release it. So you'd have like frequently good albums all the time. And now, it just seems like most musicians, artists, song rappers, whatever, they're not releasing great albums anymore because most people don't care. And is it that the uh, artists don't care as well? They're like, oh, we, we got to put out an album cycle this time. We got to put out an album and the album is straight garbage but we're going to release it anyway because you listen to a lot of the original like disturbed albums like like all the way up to their last album they were all great and then they took off like five years and they brought out their latest album it was not that great it still has some good music but it was not like their best material you look at slipknot i i was known as their most brutal most brutality album they've ever written with the most violent lyrics and the heaviness and the uh, aggressiveness and everybody says that's the like staple of what that band was capable of doing they were that was like their best work to date so i take it in consideration that uh i'm not expecting uh anything too great from slipknot to be completely honest um uh, the gray chapter honestly i listened to it like three times and that's about it. I only know The Devil in Me or Devil Inside Me or whatever the song is called, you know. I don't even really know the names of the music anymore because uh, it's that it gets to the point that uh, the music is just getting watered down so much that do we even want to listen to the albums anymore, you know. That album, like I said, personally, I have not listened to since I bought it. I thought it would be a badass, aggressive, heavy album. It's not. It just doesn't really appeal to me anymore, you know. And... It just comes down to a lot of bands don't do the things they were doing when they first came out and what made me a fan in the in the beginning, you know? So I just believe that uh, Slipknot is just another band. They get too popular and then they start watering down their music just to appeal to basically the masses and whatnot because before, uh, before, before that album, before uh, Volume 3, they never had like singing clean vocals and like very soft melodic uh like acoustic stuff they never had never never had that they were just about bringing brutality being heavy and being aggressive and i just think the way they're doing it now is it's not aggressive it's not heavy it's just more leaning towards uh more mainstream and i know a lot of people say well bands change bands evolve bands uh might not be going through aggressive uh stuff in their life anymore when your core audience is just a straight metal band and your core audience loves the aggressiveness and the core hardcore fan base wants to hear that like brutality and you're not bringing it out, you're losing a lot of fans. You know, my name is uh, Trevor as always. Just, just, just giving you my opinion, man. I believe uh, Slipknot, they used to be a great band. They might still be a great band, uh, but uh, 
the music is not what it once was and I believe in life music isn't where it was uh, like 10 years ago because artists groups bands rappers uh, pop stars don't matter who you are you're not bringing out legitimately legendary albums okay I just named a lot of legendary albums Master of Puppets uh, Youth in Asia by um, Megadeth Iowa by the band the um, Slipknot you had uh, what was it Believe album or uh, 10,000 Fist by the band Disturbed or you had albums like um, Ride the Lightning by Metallica. Legendary albums, you know. You had Pink Floyd, Dark, what is it, Dark Side of the Moon. Legendary albums. But that's just my whole take on uh, Corey Taylor writing new music. I, I, I really don't believe it's going to be anything that's going to blow you away, anything that's going to be mind-blowing anything that's going to be like oh my god did you hear that song you got to like bump it like a thousand times you know back in the day when i first the first time i ever heard a metal album was uh youth in asia by by megadeth that album personally for me i listened to it back and forth like crazy i went to friends houses oh my god you have never heard something this heavy in your life you know i was like 10 years old and i was blown away with how fast the guitar solos were how fast a lot of the riffs were I was like oh my god they there's music that they can play that fast there's music that that's heavy there's that there's music out there that that's fast that fast that heavy and that aggressive and the solos I'm like how do you even play solos like this and I remember damage incorporated by Metallica and when James Hetfield at one point in the song was ready go and then Kirk Hammer started ripping on solo I'm like I've never heard it that fast in my life I was like damn that's like that's like a thousand miles per hour and at the time I wasn't a guitar player I didn't know anything about music theory or anything it just as a person listening to that album I was blown away with what they were creating it sent chills up and down my spine and the lead singer of the band cold um, he said if music is not giving you chills up and down your spine it's not great music. It's garbage. And to be completely honest with you, that's a, how I feel about a lot of these artists nowadays. They don't give you that chill, and they don't give you the fact that I have to listen to this album like 50 times to uh, play it out because it's so uh, addicting. But that's just my opinion on the whole situation about Corey Taylor. Like I said, uh, I believe it's going to be a decent album, like the Grey Chapter. It's going to have one or two uh, catchy songs, and that's pretty much uh, it. So... I'm going to end the video by saying keeping it metal, keeping it brutal, and as always, uh, just giving you my honest opinion, man. I just give you the real, real. I don't, I don't sugarcoat nothing, man. I'm just letting you know that uh, music isn't what it once was, and for you young people that are growing up in the internet age of, hey, it's all about MP3, it wasn't. It was about going to the music store and buying music and actually hearing artists you never heard before by grabbing the album and going, oh my god, this looks like an aggressive album, and you would buy it because... You had no other way of knowing if it was good or bad because the radio never played that kind of music and no other uh, uh, way of hearing it unless your buddies had it or you had MTV and they were played on their Headbangers Ball. And if they never played on Headbangers Ball, you would have no clue of what, let's say, Soulfly was or Pantera unless you purchased it yourself. So that's how I got into a lot of bands is going to the store and buying and buying and buying and buying. And nowadays, uh, a lot of these stores are just stop selling the CDs so it's going to be even more impossible to buy music unless you're just going to be downloading uh, dumbass MP3s because everybody wants MP3s instead of real uh, hard music that is from a CD or from a record. But as always, my name is Trevor and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching this long ass video. So as always guys, remember to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. My name is Trevor as always bringing you music news video so do you guys agree with me that music is not what it once was and the new Slipknot album coming out in 2019 will probably not be heavy or aggressive it'll just be like the gray chapter as always I'm out like sauerkraut keeping it metal and keeping it brutal